Well, with war waging in the east, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko is vowing to boost military spending by $3 billion. But where will that money come from? Leading economists say Kiev's finances are in tatters, and here's why. Now, on the surface, things may seem rosy after the International Monetary Fund granted Kiev a $17 billion loan, but that came with conditions. Most importantly, the national debt-to-GDP ratio should be no higher than 60%. It's now predicted to reach 87% in just four years. Economic shrinkage in July is at 6.5%. Last year, it was only 1.3%. Economist Jeffrey Summers explains why he believes it's a catastrophe. We have this ever-shrinking GDP. We have the loss of Crimea, of course, the lost production from the Donbass region, and the cost of the civil war itself. So it, it's really quite a catastrophe. Um, I would say that the IMF is kind of in denial regarding the ability of Ukraine to pay bondholders or itself. Uh, you know, not only is the country's GDP falling, but its energy bill is increasing. And this represents not only a worsening of its balance of payments position, but also makes Ukrainian industry, you know, what little there is uh, left functioning, even less competitive, given higher energy costs. Uh, moreover, uh, we have the situation where it has to pay for expensive gas with the declining uh, currencies. Well, the conflict has wrecked the heartland of Ukraine's economy, the Donetsk region. That's where the country's main plants and factories are based. Many of them have either been badly damaged or closed because it's too dangerous to work in a war zone. Much of the regional infrastructure has also been destroyed. Expert in global and financial markets, Patrick Young, says no one would want to invest in Ukraine's economy right now. The situation in Ukraine is that obviously it's incredibly difficult when you've had some sort of an insurrection on the streets, a revolution, lots of upheaval because that impacts on the economy. And therefore, it's incredibly difficult to get your statistics absolutely precise in such a time. It's really a tragedy for the people of Ukraine. What we see at the moment is an economy that is on the verge of a death spiral. We've obviously seen all of the sorts of terrible warfare that are happening within the borders of the country. That's a tragedy because actually it's the eastern corner of the country around Donetsk where in fact the industry is that really adds to the overall GDP. What's the news we hear out of Ukraine all the time? Fighting warfare problems. Who's going to invest in the back of that? Nobody. Who's going to invest in an economy where you don't have a clear rule of law, where you cannot appreciably believe that your assets will not be in some way squandered, taken away through bribery or indeed outright stolen? Nobody.